Hello you guys, welcome back into my channel. I am Jay's Reaction Videos and thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. And if I were you, I would grab a treat and let's get ready for this tea. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay's Reaction. And I'm back again with another video. So this video is going to be episode one about my marriage. And the title of this marriage is Marriage Restoration slash How It Started. Uh, while I'm on my way to where I need to go take care of some business, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk to you guys about what's going on because uh, y'all, I'm going to tell you right now. You may want to get a pen and a, sh and a piece of paper and write some stuff down that I'm going to give you about what's going on. And I may be putting some scriptures and stuff up here on the screen as well. Uh, so get your piece of paper and write it down. If you're going through to your marriage or whatever you're going through, if you're going through, then this, is, this video is for you. This video right here is for you. Excuse all the light, all the sunlight. I'm trying to block it out, but there's not nothing I can do because I'm going in, a direct, in another direction. And, it's, and, it's, and I'm going to the direction where the sun is beaming, so if y'all see the sun right here just beaming, forgive me. But, I'm going to go ahead and get started in my video. This is episode one, and I hope this right here will help you guys in your marriage. And I'm going to tell you some key things. I'm going to tell you a lot of stuff that's going to really help you because there's one thing that you gotta realize, and I'ma say it in each one of my videos. It doesn't take no year, two, three, four, five, ten years for your husband to come back. It doesn't take all of that. So let's get right into the video. As you guys know, in May, which I forgot my notepad, but hopefully I can read. I can remember some of the stuff that I wrote down because I did have me a journey, a journey, a journal. But in May, me and my husband uh, had separated uh, this year in May. And um, when we separated, it's, it was because of what he wanted separated from him because that's what I wanted. Yeah, and, I, and I'm sorry if the phone is really shaking and vibrating. I may have to redo this video. I don't know because I didn't know it was doing all this much shaking or whatever. Uh, I could hold the phone in my hand, but I, you know I'm trying to drive at the same time. But then May we had separated. And this is what he wanted to do. Like it was, it was, it, it was, it, it wasn't good. It was bad. Like, he had got to the point. Let me say this right here. This had to deal with somebody doing witchcraft and all of this stuff. That's the reason why he did the stuff that he did. So, if, 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 if somebody just tried to separate you through witchcraft and stuff like this, this is a video for you. If they try to separate your husband with, with y'all, and put a little spell uh, on, on somebody, on, on another woman for your husband to leave. This video is for you. But I knew something wasn't right when he did the stuff that he did. Like, I just knew it. I, 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 I just said, no, this is not my husband. It's something just not right. And let me say this right here. When your husband is out of the will of God, if you don't have him protected, if you have not prayed and ask God to, to protect him and put a hedge around him, and, and, and if you have not asked God, you know, uh, to do that, it's going to affect him. Always remember, when you are worldly, when you are worldly, that witchcraft will hit you more than being a Christian, because a Christian... The weapon may form, but it is not going to prosper. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to touch you. 
So I just knew then something went right because the way he was treating me. Like he was just dogging me. And, and I said, why is this man doing this to me? And I just said, and I just had to figure it out. I said, oh my God. I said, I remember what happened. When you step out of the will of God, let me tell y'all something. If you're in the will of God and you're doing everything you can possibly do and you're saved and sanctified and you're filled with the Holy Ghost and you step out of the will of God, then you allow, you open a portal for the enemy to do what he want to do to you. So back last year, back last year, I stepped out of the will of God and did something that I didn't supposed to do which I think I did it for like, I'm just telling y'all my testimony. Hold on. I think it was like, what I did, two, three months, maybe. And it wasn't the fact that I cheated or, none of, or nothing like that. I didn't do nothing, you know. But I know that what I done wasn't of God, you know. So I suffered for that. Because I knew better because I'm chosen. Chosen people suffer more greatly than just regular people. Let me go on because this truck is trying to... But, but, but... Chosen people suffer greatly when you step out of the will of God than any other people. So stop thinking it's strange why you're suffering the way you suffer. Because when, you, when you're a chosen and you step out of, out of the will of God, there's something more serious than a, just a regular person that are called. You're going to really suffer, and God going to really get you back in order. So when that happened, that's when all hell broke loose through my husband because I opened that portal up for things to happen to him because he was covered and protected through what we was going through. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah what we was going through, so he wasn't acting like that then. So he just started mistreating me and just started saying all crazy stuff to me. And, you know, just doing just completely the opposite of, the, of what I've known him to do. And I was like, yeah. And so we was then at his grandmother's house. Because you remember I told y'all we had moved out of our house and got an RV. But at the time, the RV wasn't ready. It wasn't registered. It wasn't ready. Things had, I, We had to do things to it. You know, and by it, being, by it not being registered, we couldn't pull it on an RV parking spot. So we had to stay with his grandmother, which I told him I didn't want to stay there. I told him this. I said, no, I don't want to stay here because I knew the spirits that was in that house. I said, we could just stay, you know, at one of my family members' house. And so... Uh, he just he he just he just wanted to stay there, and I knew why he wanted to stay there because in that house, oh my God, it's so many spirits and demons and and all type of lust and prostitution. It's bad there. I knew. I said you don't need to go there because my husband remember he had just got saved and sanctified, and he had just got the Holy Ghost and he had just really cleansed himself. Before we, we stayed there. So we got down there, stayed there for one week. He started showing out then. And I said, What is this man doing? Like, he was just doing stupid, crazy stuff to disrespect me. And I said, You know, and I was just talking to God. I said, Lord, I said, I'm not putting up with this. I said, I don't know what's going on with him. I said, But I'm not putting up with it. And then it just got, and then gradually it just got worse and worse because. The reason why it got worse and worse is because he he was allowing that to happen. Like, instead of him saying, no, I'm not going to do that to my wife. I'm going to be faithful and I'm not going to do that. He was indulging in it to the point that he was lusting. He was just doing all type of disrespectful stuff. We couldn't even walk into the store without him having some type of conversation with a female. Like, we couldn't even go into the store. Like, he don't even know these people. And I just said, something's just not right. I said, he ain't never did this to me. So he just kept on indulging. And I kept telling him, you got the fight. I told him he should have never moved out to his grandma's house because he was, he was a baby. He was still a baby. He, was, he wasn't strong enough to handle what we was supposed to go through. Then 
another prophet was telling him on the phone, yeah, he got to face his spirit. I said, no, he don't need to face it right now until he gets stronger. When you are a baby in Christ, why would I throw you out there to the woods and say, okay, you ready? And I knew, I knew then. And I just, and I, and I knew he wasn't ready right now. So, we stayed there some uh, another uh, a little bit more to the point that first time that this happened in May, the first time, how did I leave? Some type of way, okay, I know how I left. Okay, some type of way I, I, I left because he didn't want me to be there. And by him not wanting me to be there, that gave him the opportunity to do what he want to do, to watch his porn and stuff like that, because that's what he want. That's that's how that's what that's where it all started in in his grandmother's house before I met him. It started right there in his grandmother's house of the porn and lusting and being just being cooped up in that room and just watching that all day every day, lusting out the other women and all type of stuff, going to stores and just doing this stuff. It happened in this house before we even met or got married. This is how it happened. This is how it started. So we stayed separated for about a week and six days. I would never forget. I, I would never forget that. We stayed separated. A week and six days. That's why I told y'all to get y'all a piece of paper and a pen and write this stuff down and you will know how long we were separated. Because I think when I left, it was May. 16, 17, 18, between those times when I left and we stayed separated for one week and six days. During that one week and six days, my husband did not contact me or nothing. I contacted him and was talking to him and he finally got to the phone because when I was contacting him, he wasn't coming, you don't answer the phone, he wasn't coming to the phone. So, uh, after that, he was like, no, oh, he was like, no, I don't want it no more. I want my divorce. I, I don't want to be with you no more. Just give me, just give me my divorce. I don't even want it no more. I said, so what you want to do? Cause I had his key to his car. Y'all let me tell y'all, his grandmama didn't want us together didn't want us back together so bad to the point that when I had his key because he had to go to the emergency room that night the night that we separated let me back up a little bit the night that we separated his nose started bleeding let me tell y'all something when your mate nose started bleeding that means he's it's a witchcraft has been putting on him and that his, my husband knows ain't never bled never and I knew that night something had happened because his nose started bleeding and it, it, it did that for two days when his nose started bleeding, he had to go to the emergency room. And I was like, baby, come on, we finna go. No, I don't want you to take, I want my family to take me. It was all about family, 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 family. Like, well, whatever, whoever did what they did to him, they wanted, they wanted, they put to the point that it's about his family and not about me. Like he was gonna abandon me and reject me. And that's what he done. So I didn't get to go to the emergency room with him because he didn't want me to be there. So I, I, I got up there to take him his key and give him his key. So when I got there, she was like, well, all his family is back there. Can't nobody else go back there. And I'm looking at that woman. I said, I'm his wife. <laughs> what you mean I can't go back there? They need to get out from back there and let me go back there. You know, it's like, it was awful, y'all. Man, the way I was treated by his family and him and May, Oh my God, y'all. It hurt me so bad. I just cried. I had to literally drive that RV. I had to hook it up and drive it all the way back to one of my family members' house that night. That hurt me so bad, y'all. So then after that, after I did what I after I did out there on that part, we were separated for one week and six days. I stayed with a family member. And all th those one week and six days, I prayed, I fasted, and I seek God every day. I was praying like, at that time I was praying like, praying like maybe twice a day. And I was fasting. I was praying and fasting twice a day. 
and I fasted for on that particular day when we were separated that time we were separated for one week and six days I fasted for um It was five days. I fasted for five days. I'm giving y'all the key of how, so y'all need to listen. And I am going to do some sessions too. Anybody want to uh, talk to me about marriage and uh, keeping your marriage and stuff like that? I'm going to do some session, and I'm not going to charge y'all that, that much to do the session because I know how people, how time is hard. You know, uh, I'm not going to charge that much I, uh, to do the sessions. I might just do, you know, hourly rate, which is not going to be that much because I really want the marriage to work. But I fasted five days. And when I fasted five days, that's when my husband contacted Finally, he contacted me. I, I had contacted him. He didn't want to talk, but he contacted me. And he said, hey, I said, hey. He said, you want to talk? I said, yeah. Didn't know at the time now. He had cheated on me. He cheated on me. I'm telling y'all everything. I'm not leaving nothing now. This is raw. Write it down because this is raw. Raw cut. He cheated on me. But I'm giving y'all a heads up before I get to the D part. Didn't know that he did that. But he wanted to get back with me. He said, well... We're going to sit down. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get back together. Now, kid, you know, I ain't did nothing to this man now. He was blaming me for stuff that I didn't do. And this is what happens when somebody do put witchcraft on you. They're going to always blame you and not the family. They're going to blame you, you know? So I did that. We got back together that Friday. We got back together. And, oh... Uh, it was good. He did. He was doing good for a little while. Didn't know that he had, he had a phone at his grandma's house, and the phone he had he had hid it from me, which I didn't know that that's what he was doing. You know, because I'm I'm the type of person. If we're gonna build this relationship, we go first gonna start with the trust. We ain't finna build this relationship, and we I and I'm out here accusing you. I when 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 I got back with him, I didn't accuse him. I didn't say, I didn't bring up nothing. Didn't know that he cheated on me now. Well, I bet y'all said, well, how did you know he cheated? You got to listen to the story. So then after that, we went to, um, it last, we, we was together for four days. I never will forget this. We stayed together for four days and he started acting a straight fool. It got even worse. We was together for four days, y'all. And he got the, it got the acting worse. My mistake was when I was always growing my mouth, I wasn't praying like I was supposed to. And I just couldn't pray in there because that's how bad it was. I, just, I, I, I couldn't pray in that place. I just couldn't. Like, it was so much disturbance. I just I just couldn't do it. But that was my that point because when I was standing at a family member, that's how I did all my prayer. That's how I did all my prayer. And so then after that, you know, I just couldn't pray over there. So I'm going to start with part two where what he done to me and how we separated again after those four days. And I'm going to tell y'all what he done because it had got worse. Y'all, it had got really worse. So I'm going to let you guys know what he done in episode two. So y'all need to stay tuned. Make sure y'all get your piece of paper and write this down because I'm telling y'all it's going to help you in your marriage. Write everything I have now. If you have to go back and rewatch this video, Rewatch it because it's, it's, it's some things I'm going to say in here that's going to really help you guys. So with that being said, you guys, uh, stay tuned for episode two of the marriage restoration. How it all started. Until next time, see you guys in the next video. Check out.